next one is the counter bend drill, which is basically the same drill, except instead of the horse looking to the inside, we're gonna have them looking to the outside. It's a little more tricky. You gotta keep those hands apart, keep forward motion. That's the critical piece here. If they're not moving, you can't manipulate the parts. So the main priority here is forward motion. The second priority is the bend. Now he's starting to give to me. So I can see his outside eye slightly. A little bit of left, left arc there while we're traveling. See, he wants to stop. Every time I get him bent, he wants to quit moving. So I got both feet kind of rattling against his belly just to encourage motion. There we go. He keeps wanting to straighten up. Now he's kind of getting frustrated, like, what do you want from me? Okay, so once he, he gets fluid there, then you can allow the stop. Again, don't let him get straight in the stop. Keep that bend. And then instead of turning this time, we're just gonna back up. Okay, here's a good point. I've pulled as hard as I wanna pull. I don't wanna pull any harder than that. And he's still standing still. So instead of leaning back and just making him get off my hands, I'm gonna create some energy with my legs. So I don't have to pull as hard and just kind of bump my feet real light so that he triggers that thought of, mm, I need to do something. So movement's good. Anyway, we'll get to that the backing up with some bend. There he's stuck again. You want to fight that urge to pull harder, right? Because sometimes you just want to pull as hard as you can and that's, that's not where we're headed. So be patient right there when they get stuck. There we go. Couple steps back. Stop and then start again. There we go. Now we can take that into the turn because I'm gonna turn the direction his nose is pointed and then I'm right back on my circle going the other way. Now once I've got forward motion and we're going with the change of direction, now we're gonna reverse the arc to the outside. Keep it moving forward. So this, these are the kind of um, roadblocks you're gonna run into. This horse doesn't wanna bend but I'm not gonna force it until he gets just comfortable moving with his contact on, um, on his mouth. He thinks, because I'm pulling on the bridle reins, he's supposed to stop, right? But I'm not pulling hard enough to make him stop. I just want him to travel and give me that direction. There we go, almost, okay? So uh, bend to the outside, get stopped, back, couple steps and then turn. Now we're right back onto our circle with forward motion. 